In this video, we're going to add a collar field to a custom module using the Divi Module Builder plugin sold on DiviPlugins.com. If you've been following along the price drop custom module that we've been creating in our video tutorials, we're going to add a collar field to our original price circle and our green sales price circle. So we're going to add those red and green collars to our custom module. If we go to our module, I've added two containers, animation outer and animation inner. And then I've also added two span tags, one for the original price and one for the sale price. I've already added the original price text field, the original price animation select field, and the original price background color. And I've also started on the sale price text field and animation and now we're going to add the sale price background color. So we're going to click on add a new field and we're going to label it sale price background. The identifier will be sale price BG and then we're in the description we're going to say background color for sale price circle. For the field type, we're going to change that to color. And we have the option to select a default color if we want. So we'll go ahead and select a default color. I'll make it a little bit darker. And let's update. And now we have our sale price BG field below in a um, shortcut button. If we go back up, we have our original price, our sale price, and you can see I'm adding the background color as an inline style. So we have style equals background color and then the sale price BG. And then for the original price, I'm using the original price field identifier. So let's go back to our page that has the module and we'll refresh. And now we have original price background color picker and sale price background color picker. So if we leave it as a default and preview, you see we have the red background color. This is the default color that I selected for the original price. So let's go back and change that color. And we'll just select, let's do an orange color. Preview the changes. And now it's changed to orange. So that is how you add a color to a custom module. In the next video, we're going to show you how to add the button at the bottom of the module. And if you want to follow along these videos, you can go to DiviPlugins.com and download the Divi Module Builder plugin. And we'll also have this price drop custom module available for download for free. Thank you for watching.